So um, some of the events that we have on our DSA Network 2011-2012 uh, academic calendar are um, in February, for instance, February 12th is Freedom to Marry Day. Um, and this is something that we've had a direct connection with for many years. Um, and um, in 2005, we were really inspired by um, GSAs who were organizing um, to do days of action around marriage and stuff. And so um, 2012 was kind of been classified as the Freedom to Marry Day. And since then, a lot of youth have been doing different things about it. You could also look at freedomtomarry.org and they have more information specific to that day. Um, the other thing is, is LGBT Black History Month is in February, right? To start planning in January, like what kind of organizational leaders, what kind of events do you really want to highlight that pertain to black history and LGBTQ history? Believe it or not, there's a lot of black activists who have worked in LGBTQ organizing or civil rights movement organizing who were LGBTQ and we don't really know about, right? So you can go to gsanetwork.org um, slash blacked out history um, and it'll give you more information on some historical leaders and things like that. Uh, March is Expression Not Suppression that happens in Fresno, an LGBTQQI youth conference here in Fresno on March 24th. So that's one wonderful way to kind of organize around and to build up momentum in your school before then, right, to get folks who want to go. April um, Queer Youth Advocacy Day is a day where all kinds of youth from all over the state go to the state assembly and advocate for state bills and laws and things that they really want to either maintain or to put into law. Um, GSA Network tries to coordinate sending youth from all over California to go and advocate for LGBTQ-centered like laws and rights. Um, so we'll be on a search for youth who want to be involved in that and I'm really, really trying to get a core youth of Central Valley to send to the state because those youth will be talking specifically to um, assembly members and senators from our region, from our districts. And we don't have very many of those youth going up right now. We need more of those youth to voice their opinions.